<clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Glad you recovered from COVID. And to the extent we work together, I'd like to like to do that. Let's just pull back a little bit and just ask some basic questions. Uh, do you believe uh, that the Biden immigration policies are successful? Uh, Senator, I, uh, I think rebuilding a broken immigration system and rebuilding a dismantled one takes time and we're on the road to success. So you think we're on the right track as a nation? I do. Okay. How would you grade yourself? Uh, Senator, um, I'm a tough grader on myself and I give myself um, an A for effort, investment, okay. in mission, and support of our workforce. Okay. Do you think you're doing a better job in the Trump administration? Uh, uh, Senator, I believe in the policies that we are putting forward, and I condemn a number of the policies that were promulgated in the prior administration. So you think we have more control over the border now than we did under Trump? Uh, Senator, we're very focused on the uh, That's not the question. You'd be folk Do you think we have more control over the border now than we did under the last administration? I think we have more control that is consistent with our values as a nation. Okay. Was Afghanistan a successful withdrawal? Uh, um, Senator, um, the evacuation that the Department of Defense and the Department of Sta State led was historic in evacuating so many individuals. In of those that are evacuated, how many of them were vetted before they got on the plane? Uh, Senator, um, uh, it is our policy to vet That's a simple question. How many of them were vetted before they got on the plane? Um, out of Afghanistan? Yeah. I cannot speak to that, but it is our policy. Okay. So you can't tell us how many people were vetted before they got on the plane to come to America? Oh, I'm sorry. If you're speaking of the plane to come to America, let me, if I may, Senator, explain the process. Because we, working with our allies... Okay, here's a question. Very simple. Those that got on the plane... For America, it is our policy to... Please, please listen. Please listen to my question. I apologize. To those who got on the C-17s and other planes, <clears throat> how many were vetted before they got on the plane by American to officials? To the United States, it is our policy to vet and screen 100% of them. So 100% of those people that got on the plane were vetted. That's your testimony under oath. It is our, our policy to do so. That's not, I don't care what your policy is. I'm asking how many people were vetted before they got on the plane. Do you know the answer? Uh, Senator, if you don't I, know, just say I don't know. Uh, Senator, I do not know if anyone okay. uh, boarded a plane that was not fully screened and vetted. Can you tell However, me that all the can, people that got on the plane were vetted? Absolutely. I can tell you that all of the individuals... Before they got on the plane. If, if I may, Senator, <laughs> all of the individuals who arrived in the United States okay. have been screened. And That's vetted. not, listen, I'm not, this, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm trying to ask a simple question. We've had thousands of people that got on C-17s and flew out of the most chaotic situation I've seen since the fall of Saigon. And I'm asking you, before they got on the plane, how many of them were vetted by the United States? Can you tell me what percentage? Senator, I would posit and I will confirm this, that well over 99% of them were fully screened and vetted before they boarded a flight. Okay. If, in fact, any of Where do you get that information from? May, may I, Senator? Sure. If, in fact, they were not, they were screened and vetted wow. while in flight, and if any derogatory information was adduced, they were placed in immigration enforcement proceedings and uh, in removal. Now, you do know, you do know you're under oath. Are yes. you telling this committee under oath that 99% of the people who got on these planes in Afghanistan were vetted by our government before they got on that plane? I want to be very clear because precision... Because you're not. No, no, no. Senator, if I may, you are asking me about planes from transit countries, the third countries... I'm talking about people who got on the plane in Kabul Airport. States. No, I, uh, I can't speak to that. Well, that's... Okay, good. Uh, of the 1.7 million people who've come here illegally, how many of them have been released into the country? Um, Senator, um, I can break that down to the best of my ability. Nearly 1 million, approximately, I would say, 965,000 have been subject to expulsion under Title 42 of the United States Code. Okay, that gives us how many left? I, I believe approximately 
40,000 have been removed under our immigration authorities uh, that we in the Department of Okay, Homeland slow Security. down. Where does that get us to like 840,000 people? No, no, no. Approximately 965,000 okay. were expelled. Okay. Approximately 40,000 have been removed. Approximately 125,000 unaccompanied children have been transferred to the custody and the shelter of Health and Human Services. Um, the balance are, to the best of my knowledge, in immigration enforcement proceedings. Where so what does that leave us? How many people are still here? Of the 1.7 million, how many people are still here? I would estimate approximately 375,000 are still here. Yes. Okay. Sir. That is my best estimate. Do you believe, be right, do you believe that if you have an immigration hearing and there's a final order of deportation, that person should be removed? I do. Okay. Why is one million people still here after they get a final order of deportation? Um, uh, Senator uh, Graham, as I uh, responded to... Well, uh, is the system working? Oh, the, the immigration system is broken, has been broken. Well, let me just say this. It's really broken if a million people have been ordered to leave and they haven't left. Do you believe that the Remain in Mexico policy instituted by the Trump administration is cruel? Uh, as it was implemented, I do. Do you support permanently doing away with the Remain in Mexico policy? I do. Do you think that will increase illegal immigration if we do? Um, I do not because of the other efforts that we have underway. Thank you, Senator Graham. Senator all right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking that middle button. Also, check out our previous video by clicking the video on the right or a video you might enjoy by clicking the video on the left. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share this video on social media. Peace.